क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फोर इन दिस क्वेश्चन थ्री पोलराइजर्स पी क्यू एंड आर आर पैलेस्ड पैरल टू ईच अदर विद देयर प्लेन्स परपेंडिकुलर टू द जेड एक्सेस क्यू इज पैलेस्ड बिटवीन क्यू एंड आर इनिशियली द पोलराइजिंग डायरेक्शन ऑफ पी एंड क्यू आर पैरल बट दैट ऑफ आर इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दैम इन दिस अरेंजमेंट when unpolarized light of intensity i not is incident on p the r intensity coming out of r is zero the polarizer q is now rotated about the z axis so in this question we have to find out the maximum intensity of light coming out of r so first of all let us consider that the polarizer q is rotated about the z axis by phi angle now again consider three polarizers p q and r initially polarizing direction of p and q are parallel but that of r is perpendicular to them so intensity of light passing through p is ip equals to i not by 2 because according to mellus law ip is equals to i not average of cos square theta so the light is unpolarized so average of cos square theta is 1 by 2 that implies ip equals to i not by 2 intensity of light passing through q according to law of mellus iq is equals to ip cos square phi where phi is the angle by that q is rotated about z axis so intensity of light coming out r is ir equals to iq cos square 90 minus phi that implies i r equals to i v cos square phi cos square 90 minus phi that implies i r equals to i p cos square phi sin square phi that is equals to i p by 4 into 4 cos square phi sin square phi so i r equals to i p by 4 into cos sin square 2 phi or i r equals to i not by 4 sin square 2 phi i r will be maximum if or only if sin 2 phi is equals to 1 it means 2 phi equals to pi by 2 so phi equals to pi by 4 if phi equals to pi by 4 then i r will be maximum and its value will be i not by 4 net question number 52 in this question a common emitter configuration transistor is given to us and we have been asked to calculate the voltage between collector and emitter that is vce now if we have to simplify the circuit we can divide the circuit into two parts that is input and output first of all in case of input loop we can find the base current that is ib which will be equal to vbb by rb where vbb will be the input voltage on the base terminal that is given to us as 1 volt and rb is given to us as 10 to the power 7 ohms so we can calculate ib which will come as 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 amperes now if we know the value of the base current we can calculate the value of the collector current which is beta times ib beta is given to us as 100 in this question so we can calculate 100 into 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 which is equal to 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 4 amperes now if we apply kvl in the output loop we can write an equation including vce as vce equals to vcc minus ic into rl and in this given question we know the values of vcc rl and we have just calculated the value of ic so by putting these values we will get vce equals to 24 volts so that will be our answer that is 24 question number 56 a stone is dropped vertically from the top of a town of height 40 meter at the same time a gun is aimed directly at the stone from the ground at a horizontal distance 30 meter from the base of the tower and fired from the bullet from the gun is to hit the stone before it reaches the ground we have to find out the minimum velocity of the bullet for that case so to solve this question we will think about two cases which are shown in the figures so according to first case suppose the bullet is hitting to the stone at the highest 
sorry at the maximum height that is uh, 40 minus x distance from the base level and x from the top level or top surface similarly according to second case suppose it is hitting to the stone at the range point or below the 40 meter from the top point or on the horizontal plane so first of all we will solve the case number one the time taken by the stone to cover the x distance that is equals to x equals to half gt square that implies t square equals to 2x upon g similarly the time taken by the bullet to reach the highest point that is equals to 40 minus x equals to v sine theta whole square divided by 2z that implies 40 minus x equals to v square sine square theta upon 2z that is equals to 16 v square upon 50z the time taken by uh, both parts sorry the time taken by bullet and stone are equal so 2x upon g is equals to 4v ka whole square upon 5 sorry 4v by 5g ka whole square that implies 2x upon g equals to 16v square upon 25g square that implies x equals to 16v square upon 50g so 40 equals to 32v square upon 50g that is equals to v sorry that implies v equals to 25 meter per second so if the bullet is hitting to the stone at maximum height then velocity must be 25 meter per second for case second the total range if sorry if the particle is hitting at the horizontal plane then its range will be 30 meter so v cos theta into t equals to 30 meter that implies v equals to 17.7 .7 meter per second so minimum speed is 17.7 .7 meter per second Question number 58. In this question, the dispersion relation of phonon in a solid is given by a. omega square is the function of k equals to omega naught square in bracket 3 minus cos kx a minus cos ky a minus cos kz a bracket clause. The velocity of phonon at large wavelength is n times of omega naught a. In this question, we have to find out the value of integer n. So again, the dispersion relation of phonon in a solid is given by omega square k equals to omega naught square 3 minus cos kx a minus cos ky a minus cos kz a. So the wave number k is equals to 2 pi by lambda at the large wavelength 2 pi by lambda is tends to 0 or wave number k is tends to 0. So, by the mathematical formula, cos kx a is equals to 1 minus kx a whole square upon factorial of 2 at large wavelength. Similarly, cos ky a is equals to 1 minus ky a whole square upon factorial of 2. And again, similarly, cos kz a equals to 1 minus uh, kz a square upon factorial of 2. By putting these values, in the dispersion relation omega square k equals to omega naught square 3 minus 1 minus kx a square upon factorial of 2 minus 1 minus uh, ky a whole square upon factorial of 2 minus 1 minus kz a whole square upon factorial of 2 that implies omega square k equals to omega naught square 3 plus a square upon 2 kx square plus ky square plus kz square minus 3 that implies omega square is equals to omega naught square a square k square upon 2 where k square equals to kx square plus ky square plus kz square so omega equals to omega naught a k upon square root of 2 the velocity of phonon at large wavelength is d omega upon dk that is equals to omega naught a upon square root of 2 where the value of n equals to 1 by root of 2 that is equivalence to 0 0.707.